In June of 2022, a Burmese python of record-setting size was captured in the Florida Everglades. This massive snake weighed in at 215 pounds and measured 18 feet in length. By the way, that's about as long as a Chevy Suburban. Biologists found this big female by implanting radio transmitters into some smaller males. The males were eager to breed and led the scientists right to her. Upon euthanizing and dissection, 122 developing eggs were found. This photo not only highlights the length of this animal, but also shows that its girth is similar to that of a small tree. But why are Burmese pythons showing up in the Everglades? Their native habitat in Southeast Asia is literally on the other side of the world from South Florida. One reason is that Burmese pythons have been popular in the exotic pet trade in North America for many years. And while snakes don't appeal to everyone, nearly 6% of all Americans own some kind of reptile pet. However, most are purchased as babies, like these little albino Burmese pythons here. But those cute baby hatchlings can grow into enormous adults. Burmese pythons are not venomous, but their teeth are no joke either. If you get bit by a large adult, you probably won't forget it. A snake that's large enough to eat an alligator is more than the average pet keeper can handle, so they end up dumping them in the wild. In fact, the American alligator is no longer the apex predator in the Everglades. That honor now goes to the invasive Burmese python. Perhaps this one attempted a meal so large that it literally ruptured. The invasive snakes have spread to a breeding population in the tens of thousands. At the same time, sightings of native birds and mammals have decreased. South Florida's tropical climate allows them to thrive, and the vast Everglades region gives the Burmese pythons enough cover, water, and prey items to keep increasing their population. But fears that these pythons will spread into northern states are greatly exaggerated. Burmese pythons need tropical or subtropical conditions. Outside of South Florida or extreme Southeast Texas, the rest of the United States is just too cold for them. It's important for anyone who keeps pets to never release them into the wild. Whoever released this goldfish probably meant no harm. However, this goldfish is not native to the area that it was dumped and it's now grown large enough to eat the frogs and smaller fish that really belong in that area. I've personally kept many large snakes and other reptiles and a lot of different pets throughout my life. And by the way, this is a boa constrictor. There are many who would like to place more rules and regulations on the reptile hobby. Situations like the one in the Everglades gives them more ammunition. So if you enjoy keeping reptiles as much as I do, please remember to never release them into the wild. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.